Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. I'd have my cam on, but I'm a little bit too tired for that. So here we are, and since last time we added a dinosaur to Universe Sandbox 2, the only reasonable thing to do now would be to make it eat the sun. Of course, what else would we do? So we're just going to see what happens when we have our dino eat the sun because I'm actually I'm curious <laughs> I'm I'm curious as to, as to how ridiculous this will look So let's go ahead and grab our dinosaur which we added last time if you didn't check out that video You should because it is the first mod for universe sandbox 2. I know so proud Here's our dinosaur looking very good in the sunlight now all we have to do is wow look at that it's beautiful what what is more space than this that that is that's the question this is the most space so now all we have to do is actually expand the size of our dino and the hitbox doesn't line up or anything but i'm going to work on fixing that in the future we're just going to hit times 10 until it actually starts getting bigger because right now it's in a weird mode where it's kind of stuck there we go so now we can see it and it's kind of large now um not large enough to eat the sun though okay that's that's large enough to eat the sun like that's that's a nice serving for that dinosaur so let's go ahead and move the dinosaur to happily be nomming on the sun Actually, I, I think the dinosaur is going to have to be much bigger to actually have a chance of doing this. Now that I think about it, the dinosaur is only 2.16 Earths. It needs to... Oh my. Oh my. The, the dinosaur takes very large bites. Uh, I guess we're going to have to increase... How big does this dinosaur have to be? <laughs> very large, it would appear. Okay. Uh, we've almost got it. It's just... Well, the radius just has to be bigger than the sun, I guess. But we can't really tell what the radius is. Uh, but we can compare to the sun. So right now it's at 67,000 kilometers and the sun is uh, 70,000. Wow, okay, it does. It has to be really, really big. Um, okay, bam, now it's capable of eating the sun. Wow, that is a very large dinosaur. We can't even see him anymore. He's so far away, none of the light's reaching him. Oh, there we go. If we do kind of the sh silhouette, we can see him. Okay, so now we're going to turn down the speed a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this down to the seconds range. And let's see what happens when everything is eaten. Also, let's turn this so that we can actually see more easily. Um, let's turn our settings and turn lighting to flashlight. There we go. Now we can see our friends. Ooh. Okay. And now, zooming in on the sun. Let's see what happens. Okay. Things look pretty normal. The sun is being pulled towards the dinosaur's core. And in any second now. Oh, the dinosaur ate it. Okay, so now is the dinosaur, is everything going to orbit around the dinosaur now? Because that would actually be kind of funny. Although I can't actually find the point. Okay, there we go. Nope, that's Mercury. Mercury. No. Where, where is the core of the dinosaur? Oh no. I've lost it. Is that it? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so are things going to start orbiting it now? Are we going to have to give in to our giant reptilian... Overlord The answer is not very clear. Okay, so the dinosaur is actually rotating away. No, he's running away <laughs> No Okay, everything is actually getting pulled into it pretty strong. Um, where is earth? Let's turn on the trails and labels. Okay, earth's over here. Uh, we're still kind of running away from the dinosaur um Although we're, we're still orbiting, but it's rotating. <laughs> wow, I was expecting I was expecting the entire solar system to kind of be completely destroyed. But actually, the tidal forces are keeping Earth kind of warm. It, it, we're at negative 13 degrees, but like that could humanity could still put up a fight at this point. 
but no, we are we are we're starting to running into problems. It's just getting colder and colder. And the dinosaur seems to be pretty relentless. That's unfortunate. Okay, what can we do? Well, we can try to murder the dinosaur. That that's one option to try to end this. So let's see if we can murder the T Rex using a laser. The end of our sandbox too. The only game where you can murder dinosaurs with lasers and have zero repercussions. Okay, so now we're gonna aim. Once we can actually see it, we're gonna see what happens when we fire a laser at it. Is it just going to like dissolve? Fire! Oh, oh yikes. Uh, doesn't appear to be doing much at all. Oh, I guess it only affects planets. Oh, or am I just too far away to really aim? Let's try getting closer. How close do I have to be to Earth to aim? Like, that co oh no, I have to be very close. There we go, okay, so let's let's get closer to our dino friend. Okay, it says dice because that's the item I created it out of. Okay, so it's currently negative 270. Let's see if our laser actually works. No. Oh no. No, we can't. We can't stop it. <laughs> There's no stopping him. Okay, what if we use the explode tool? Will he turn into like 80 dinosaurs? Oh my god, that would be beautiful. Come on. Come on, please. Please multiply. Oh, what happened? Were tiny dinosaurs thrown out? Oh, I don't think so, but I'd like to hope so. I'd like to think that a tiny baby dinosaurs just flew all over the place. Okay, so obviously this is beautiful. Like, there is no beating what we have just accomplished. Um, but let's see... Honestly, the scale is so off, it's kind of hilarious. Um, I really do need to fix the scale of this because... It's it's pretty terrible. Oh, what? Ooh. Beautiful. We've got a galaxy. How how big was the dinosaur compared to a galaxy? So let's actually get the Milky Way and do a test. If this is the Milky Way, and if we make the dinosaur the mass of the sun, like, it was really far off, but like, how, okay, so obviously he looks big because he always looks big because he's broken, but if we zoom in a bit, zoom in a bit more, and a bit more, okay, it looks like it's getting angry, because the scale is just too big compared to it right now, so let's set it to the mass of the sun, do 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 okay, Jupiter, sun, a few times the mass of the sun, so... Oh, actually, no, it's not, so it's not too, okay, it's it's pretty large compared <laughs> to the galaxy still. I wonder how big we'd have to get it to be the size of a galaxy. Okay, you know what? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Maybe it's not that bad. Like, when you get to this scale, I guess everything's pretty low. Oh, oh, although I would like to say that this is, this is absolutely beautiful. That's what's in the center of the galaxy. It's a dinosaur. We've solved it, guys. No need to play No Man's Sky. Oh no! We lost. Okay, never mind. It's back. Okay. Let's grab the mass. Is this the largest you can make things now? It is! Oh, so we can't make it the size of the milk. It, but if we zoom out a bit, if we zoom out a bit, we can. There's still hope. Still hope in this world. And if we actually set the lighting settings up properly, it'll look really cool. Whoa. Whoa, bro. There's a dinosaur on the Milky Way. That sounds like a nice band name. Dinosaur on the Milky Way. It's pretty aesthetic. Except he shrinks when you get close. He's very shy. Okay, well, I guess I guess we've learned a lot about um kind of the modability of things. Like it's very broken and these tests today and last time are basically going, well, how much can we do with this? But I think we can actually do a lot with this 
and um, I'm excited to fix this so that it works better in the future. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, obviously I'm pretty tired. I'm recording this very late because I've been working so hard on programming and stuff, but um, we're going to have more very exciting things coming in the future, and hopefully Universe Sandbox 2 gets some more updates soon, so bye! Hail Vuperia! See you all next time.